lovely and nice so guys this is all of my ingredients which we're gonna use to make this lovely nice spaghetti bolognese I said bolognese is one of the best thing you know what I mean especially when the, 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 the parents have come from work and the kids them coming from school you need something to prepare you know of course you need something to prepare so today we're gonna do you some spaghetti bolognese and you know what I mean the spaghetti bolognese is very simple and easy yeah, it's simple, but you know what I mean? It's all how you're gonna make it to make it make it simple. Anyway, today we got spring onion, white onion, garlic and some chopped tomato, a bowl of sweet corn ketchup, and bolognese. This is bolognese sauce. Tomato sauce, beautiful, nice. You can get that in, in the local shop supermarket. This is 250 grams of all good, 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 good British meat. This is a beef. This is not horse meat. Anyway, sorry about that. <laughs> uh, today we're gonna make you show you guys how you can make yourself a nice love of spaghetti bolognese. Serve it, serve it after school when the kids them come from school for that you can have it for their dinner. Most people love it with cheese on top of it, but yeah, yeah, me man, we're gonna we're gonna sell it off now. So guys, hopefully you like the recipe. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching Chef Ricardo cooking program. It is amazing. To have you back in the kitchen right over here this is my fried pan start to get in at a happy time about three to four minutes now it's a pretty a little bit hot right here this is my fried pan guys medium size eat can turn on a little bit more a little bit hot at the moment uh, basically what I'm gonna simply do I'm just gonna pop a little bit of olive oil inside of it just like this roughly a teaspoon of olive oil olive oil is really nice for you to use inside of anything where you're making it give it a lovely flavor lovely taste it's good for you keep your healthy fit strong everything in one but today we are making spaghetti bolognese when the kids have come from school and need something to eat what the parents gonna prepare what they gonna do yeah yeah man. let's run off some meat and some things and know and get some things rolling um basically this is the garlic Ah, oh, a little bit warm, but that's fine. So, that's why I lift up the frying pan because I know the oil is a little bit hot. Burn out the garlic inside of it, that's the first thing which you want to do. Just to get in the flavor with a white onion or so inside of it. Ah, oh, man, you can see that lovely scent. The scent is really, 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 really nice. Oh, good British meat. 250 grams worth of British meat. Good for you to. Uh, listen to me, guys. We're gonna have some things in the kitchen at the moment. So, as you can see, the, the garlic can get a little bit brown, but that's fine. You know what I mean? The skin's gonna work with it. And I'm gonna put the rest of my veg inside of it just like this. This is beautiful. Really nice, guys. And I know you guys are gonna love it. So we're gonna brown out the meat and I'm just adding these inside of it, make it cook with it also. Put a little bit more heat. Really nice. This is beautiful. When the kids have come from school, they need something to eat. What are you gonna give them? The kids are going back to school and they're gonna come from school. So you have to find something to give them. Very quick and simple, you know what I mean? Back to school, we need something to give them. And this is where it's coming under. This is a little bit of all purpose season. I'm putting it straight on it. And also what we're gonna do next is Basically, put a little bit of paprika. That's paprika, that's a teaspoon of paprika. So you're gonna burn up this for about five to six minutes. Yes, 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 yes. As you can see, the color of it, the meat, or it look when the brown is off. This is the way it all looks. Looking so lovely, nice, yummy, yummy. Everything in our one. Oh, the kids them will love this. Back to school. When the kids have come from school and need something, so guys, this is where it comes in handy. Now we're gonna chop tea a bottle of bolognese 
sauce, low fat. You don't need to worry yourself if you're watching your weight. Inside of it, just like this. This is lovely, nice, beautiful, early, tasty, everything in one. The next thing we're gonna do, we're just gonna simply put a little bit of ketchup. Some people say, oh, what a chef you had, why am I put ketchup in it? If, when you want your kids them to enjoy the food and taste the other really good thing, you have to put things in it to make them happy. So, that's where it come in really handy. One bottle of bolognese sauce, a little bit of ketchup, turn on the flame a little bit low. Then next thing, put some sweet corn inside of it, just like this. Put a lot of sweet corn inside of it, just to bring in the flavor and the taste, guys. This is beautiful and really nice. This is yummy, yummy! And I know the kids are gonna love this. It's back to school. Kids coming from school, they need something to eat. The parents working nine to five. What are you gonna prepare when you come home? This is very quick, simple recipe for you to prepare when the kids them come home. You can come home quickly and do this for the kids them. So guys, I know you're gonna love the recipe as you can see. This looking lovely already so far and really nice. So I'm just gonna just cook this for another 10 more minutes and a medium size eat. That's even too long. <laughs> Enjoy the recipe. Nice and lovely. So now as you can see guys, this is finished. Now I'm gonna share it out. Really nice and beautiful. Hopefully you like the recipe, subscribe to the channel. And I said when the kids have come from school, they need something like this. Really nice and beautiful. Enjoy the recipe. Thank you so much for watching Chef Ricardo Cooking Program. Bye-bye. Lovely and nice. Right here I have some spaghetti which I just shared out in my bowl. So now we're gonna put the beef mayonnaise on top of it just like this. And also you can put some powder cheese, parmesan cheese on top of it if you do like. So guys, enjoy the recipe, subscribe to the YouTube channel and this is exactly what I'm talking about. When the kids come from school, they need to come prepare something very quick, fast and simple like this. Thank you so much for watching my cooking program. Bye-bye.